Hi everybody, it's Justine. Um, I wanted to come on and bring everybody up to date. I know there were some posts made yesterday on Facebook and some people have messaged me because they thought it was a little cryptic. They wanted to know what was going on. And because I haven't done a video in a while, um, yesterday, which was um, Tuesday, May 23rd in the afternoon, I got a phone call that um, my pathology results were in, and I'm going to back up a little bit. When I had surgery on May 5th, um, they sent my tumor um, for a genomedic oncotype testing, and with that, they test the molecular structure of the tumor and see how aggressive it is. And in my previous videos, as you know, we were all praying for an eight or less. An eight or less would be no chemotherapy, just radiation and hormonal therapy. Well, um, unfortunately, my results came back a 36. Um, we went, we being Dan and I went today to meet with the oncologist. They went over the report and, you know, I was like, are you sure it's mine? And it is mine. My name's on there and big old 36. And they were even surprised that it was that high. So what does that mean? That means I have to do six rounds of chemotherapy and then... I do radiation and hormonal therapy after that is completed. Next Wednesday, um, I go in and have a port put in, and that'll go under my clavicle, like right about here. And that is where they will uh, put in any medications that I need in the chemotherapy. They can do blood testing from that. It's just so I don't have to be poked and all of that. So, um, that happens next Wednesday. And then June 6th, I do my first treatment and then I wait 21 days. And then I have my neck, my second treatment, 21 days treatment, 21 days treatment. And I do that, uh, six times. And, uh, my last treatment will be September 19th <laughs> um, for chemotherapy. Um, so that is where we're at. Um, I'd like to thank Dan again for being my rock and my family for all your love and support. And, uh, my daughter, I love you so much. And I want to thank Ann A., for the beautiful cards and Susan G for the beautiful, um, or Sue, I'm sorry, Sue G for the beautiful hummingbird card. I really appreciate it. Um, so that's where we're at and I will do a video after I get my port and let you know how that went and what it felt like, what it feels like. Um, I had the option to be, put out, which I wanted, but unfortunately my surgeon is going to be on vacation. So his partner will do it and I will be medicated, but I won't be under. So I'm still going to feel it and I don't like needles. So we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know. <laughs> um, before anybody asks me, yes, I am going to lose my hair and I was told today by day 17 after the first treatment is when I will start losing my hair. I won't lose my eyebrows or my eyelashes, so I guess that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So um, if you have any questions or comments or anything, please feel free to leave them below. And uh, my family and I, we appreciate your love and support and your prayers and your well wishes and everything. So thank you so much. And we will talk to you later. Bye. Stone strong. And I have cancer, but cancer doesn't have me.